Hello everyone. So in our last lecture, we have studied about a very interesting phenomenon of light, which is called as dispersion of light. In this lecture, we'll study about another interesting phenomena that light exhibits, which is called as the Tyndall effect or Tyndall scattering. Well, we have all observed that the sky that we live under is blue in color, right? It appears blue in color in daytime. During the night, the sky appears to be dark. During sunrise or sunset, our sky appears to be a little reddish in color. Have you ever wondered why this happens? Does the sky change color according to the time of the day? Well, both these phenomena, all these phenomena can be explained on the basis of the Tyndall effect or the Tyndall scattering. In your previous classes, I'm sure you must have studied about scattering of light in colloidal solutions. So the Tyndall effect or the Tyndall scattering is a similar phenomena which occurs due to scattering of natural light due to the presence of dust particles, water droplets, or smoke, etc. In, the, in our atmosphere that is there surrounding our earth. So the Tyndall effect is basically scattering of natural light due to all the impurities, due to all the particles that exist in our atmosphere. So I'm sure most of you must have observed a phenomena similar to the one shown here, right? So early in the morning, when dusting is happening at your homes, you must have observed a similar phenomena. What happens here is, due to the dusting at your homes, the dust particles, they get suspended in the air and these dust particles, they cause scattering of the light, which is coming from the window. Due to the scattering of light, the particles, which are the dust particles, which are suspended in the air, they become visible to us, which in turn makes the path of the light visible to us. This scattering of natural light due to the presence of dust particles or water droplets or smoke particles in the, in the air, in our environment, in our atmosphere is what is known as the Tyndall effect or Tyndall scattering. One more occurrence where Tyndall effect can be observed is when you go for an early morning walk or a jog. Due to the presence of mist, that is tiny water droplets in the atmosphere, the morning light gets scattered and that, that is where we can observe the Tyndall effect. So this is the phenomena of Tyndall effect. Now in our previous classes, we have studied that the scattering of light depends upon the size of the particles in the colloidal solution that is causing the scattering. As we have already studied that white light or natural light that we have, that we get from our sun, consists of seven different colored light rays, right? So these seven different colors are Vibcure, which also cause the phenomena of uh, uh, making of the rainbow. Now what we observe here is that all these seven different colored rays, they have different, they show different tendencies to scatter according to the size of the particles that are present in the atmosphere. So if finer particles are present in the atmosphere, these finer particles are able to scatter the blue spectrum of the light, right? And these particles are not able to scatter red light. You need larger particles to be suspended in the air to be able to scatter the red light which is there which consists which constitutes the white light. So when we talk about the color of the sky, the reason why the sky appears to be blue in daytime is that the sunlight which is coming towards us gets scattered by the fine particles that are present in the atmosphere. As the blue light scatters the most by these finer particles, the sky appears to be blue to us. During sunrise or sunset, we observe that the sky appears to be a little reddish in color. The reason behind that is that during sunrise or sunset, the position of the sun with respect to us is different, right? Due to this, the sunlight is coming at a very different angle than in the case of the daytime sunlight. Because of that, the sunlight has to travel much longer distances in the, within our atmosphere and it has to travel through the thicker layers of the atmosphere at, large, at longer distances. Due to this, the finer particles which are present in the atmosphere, they scatter the blue light, blue light component of the white light completely and blue light does not reach our eyes. The red light which is not scattered by these finer particles, which has a higher wavelength as compared to the blue light, is able to reach our eyes. That is why the sky appears to be red during the sunrise or the sunset. So this effect is a result of the Tyndall effect that happens due to the presence of finer particles in our atmosphere. So this is the phenomena of Tyndall effect. 
So in the next lecture, we'll study about the phenomena of refraction of light through atmosphere or atmospheric refraction. And we'll have a look at couple of other interesting phenomena that occur in our day-to-day -day lives. See you in the next lecture.